What's your job, Shabur Ross? Back at it again with another video. And boy, oh boy, today is a very interesting day. Some would say it's a joyous day, a momentous day, a day of rejoice for many WWE wrestling fans. Some would say that, and you know what? If they were to say such things, I would definitely agree with them. Because uh, I think the day that many of us have wanted to happen has finally arrived. Vince McMahon has officially announced his retirement from WWE. Now, the only thing I'm really concerned with is in what capacity. I know he's retiring apparently from uh, CEO duties and just WWE as a whole. I'm not sure. Maybe that does include him being over talent, like not talent relations, um, being over uh, creative. That's really the key that I think a lot of people would want to be interested in. But I mean, it says he's retiring from WWE as a whole, so I would think that would be included. And also, since, since we're talking about talent relations, Triple H was just effectively put back into position as executive vice president of talent relations earlier today. So WWE has been making some major changes, and I think a lot of the fans are really excited about this. So let's go into this let's figure out what's exactly going on uh we're gonna be checking out an article from variety vince mcmahon announced retirement from wwe oh boy this is this is gonna be an interesting read man let's get right into this vince mcmahon announced that he is retiring from wwe amid the ongoing misconduct investigation between uh, uh being undertaken by the company's board of directors as I approach 77 years old, I feel it's time for me to retire as chairman and CEO of WWE. McMahon said in a statement released by a sports entertainment company, throughout the years, it's been a privilege to help WWE bring you joy, inspire you, thrill you, surprise you, and always entertain you. I would like to, uh, like to thank my family for mightily contributing to our success, and I would also like to thank all of our past and present superstars and employees for their dedication and passion for our brand most importantly i would like to thank our fans for allowing us into your homes every week being your choice of entertainment i hold the deepest appreciation and admiration for our generations of fans all over the world who have liked currently liked and sometimes even loved our form of sports entertainment that's from Vince McMahon himself. McMahon retirement comes after an announcing uh, announced in June uh, that he would be stepping down from his roles as chairman and CEO of WWE amid an ongoing investigation into allegations that uh, that he paid out millions of dollars to multiple women to keep quiet about alleged affairs and misconduct. The Wall Street Journal reported that McMahon ultimately paid a total of $12 million as part of an agreement as part of the agreements he remained on uh, as part of the agreements. My bad. He remained on board as head of creative since then, but he will now be exiting that role as well. Oh, well, there it goes. That answers my question. He was the head of creative, and they said right here in this article, he will now be exiting that role as well. So he's done with WWE just as a whole. He's actually retiring. Some people say they're retiring, but they're retiring from one specific role, but still doing one thing within that company. No, he's, he's retiring from it all. Oh, my God. Oh my God, this is a real thing. Holy, we're going to talk about that. Uh, McMahon went on to say in his statement that his daughter, Stephanie, and WWE President Nick Khan would serve as co-CEOs upon his departure, with Stephanie also serving as chairwoman. She had been named interim CEO when her father initially stepped down. Since taking the company public, McMahon remains WWE's biggest shareholder. Our global audience can take some comfort in knowing WWE will continue to entertain you with the same fervor. I still, I cannot pronounce that word. Anytime I see this word, it just, it throws me off. I think it's fervor, 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 something like that. <laughs> Y'all let me know. Dedication and passion as always. The man continued, 
I am extremely confident in the in the continued success of WWE, and I leave our company in capable hands of an extraordinary group of superstars, employees, and executives. In particular, both Chairwoman Co-CEO Stephanie McMahon and Co-CEO Nick Khan. As majority shareholder, I will continue to support WWE in any way I can. My personal thanks uh, to our community and business partners, shareholders, and board of directors, directors for their guidance and support through the years, then, now, forever, together. The announcement will no doubt send shockwaves to the world of professional wrestling and media at large. McMahon is a third generation promoter having taken over WWE back then WWF from his father Vince McMahon Sr. in the 1980s. He took professional wrestling to new heights breaking from the traditional territory model of years past and taking his company national and even eventually global. He, uh, he also became known for his appearances on screen as the villainous Mr. McMahon, character who fi uh, famously feuded with Stone Cold Steve Austin during uh, WWE's so-called Attitude Era. Holy macaroni, man. <laughs> I want to say the other word, but, you know, trying to monetize this video. Uh, this is, I, I, wow. I was really concerned with this retirement situation i'm like well is he yeah he's retiring from the corporate side of things but is he going to be in charge of the the creative whoop this article answered my question and i hope this article is true because apparently he's out of the creative side of things which is truly incredible holy i don't even know what to say i am truly shocked i may be able to definitively say we actually may get some change in wwe we actually may see actual change there was never going to be changed as long as vince mcmahon was head of creative now that he's not head of creative i don't know we may actually see some change triple h is back as a uh, executive vice president of talent relations maybe he can be in charge of some of the booking of these shows i would love to see that i'm really i'm 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 be honest with you this is this is this is exciting in a sense of we may see legit change happen in WWE. Because whether people want to admit it or not, there's a lot of people that love them some Vince. Vince has definitely lost his touch when it comes to what the fans really want. Can us fans be fickle? Yes. Do we sometimes know what we want? Not really sometimes. We can be confusing as hell. But a lot of times it's not that hard to appease some of us or a majority of us some of us it's hard to appease but majority of us we just want something good compelling and 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 exciting you know the whole situation with roman roman should have turned heel many years ago but vince was so stead on making him the face it didn't matter how many times we booed he was going to do what Vince wanted to do. And that's when we started to realize Vince is going to do whatever he wants. It's his show. We're just there to watch it. And you know what? We're going to keep watching it because he knows what else we're going to watch. Then AEW came out. And granted, AEW is a nice alternative, but they still are not WWE when it comes to grand scheme of grand scale of production value. The, how big the company is how global it is they're still growing they're still trying to get to that point which they could get there if they you know continue to build upon their fan base as well and i like both companies um there's both things that i love about each company and there's both things i don't like about each company but i'm not here to talk about AEW. but i'm here to really bring down the point that vince for the longest time, he didn't have to worry about appeasing the fans and stuff like that because guess what? These networks were pumping out millions of dollars for the show. These brand deals are pumping out millions of dollars. It's like I'm making more money I ever made now than I did in the past. I can literally put on whatever show I want to see, whoever I want to push, and guess what? I'm still going to make millions. He's lost his touch in that sense of what people want because he hasn't really had to care. But now that he's pretty much retired, maybe we can get somebody in there to actually cater to what the fans want to see, man. What the fans have been clamoring to see for years. Some type of change. Yes, I know they've been talking about TV 14, but TV 14 doesn't matter 
if Vince McMahon is still in charge of creative. Now that he's in charge of creative, does TV 14 still matter? Not that that much. It, it It's not a deal breaker. It's not going to just ultimately make the shows infi infinitely better. You can still have edgy television programming with a PG rating. But if you have someone that's booking the shows and someone that actually kind of know, like, kind of know what the fans want, but also at the same time making sense of some of these storylines and things of that nature, maybe we can see you know saying some type of a, a a better product maybe with the tv 14 rating rating and you know just allowing these mature storylines to come to fruition and then you also got to take into consideration a lot of these writers and i know we rank on the writers like oh they don't know what wrestling is and all these writers they're 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 trash uh, there's been writers that have came up with some great ideas that used to work for wwe they send it to vince and vince would just trash it at the last minute or not even consider what they what they would want so a lot of these writers would write would write things that would appease vince not that would make sense for the characters they wouldn't make like storylines that make sense for the characters or for the fans to enjoy it's always about appeasing vince now maybe the writers can get in their bag write some compelling storylines that these wrestlers could actually sink their teeth into and that the fans can enjoy or or here's here's a big one maybe now these wrestlers can actually just be themselves more instead of just doing exactly what vince mcmahon want be yourself be your character allow them to go out there and be themselves maybe we'll actually care about some wrestlers and maybe there'll be some new stars because now they can be themselves Oh man, the possibilities are endless for WWE. All they have to do is make sure they capitalize on it. And I don't want this to be just a uh, a parade for Vince leaving, even though I know some of you guys in the comments are throwing a party right now. I want to give credit to Vince, Vince McMahon as well. We would not have what we have now if it wasn't for Vince. We would not have the WWE that we have now if it wasn't for Vince. That could be a good thing or a bad thing. Hell, we wouldn't have WrestleMania if it wasn't for Vince. There's a lot of things that we can I, we can definitely show appreciation for when it comes to Vince McMahon. Vince McMahon has found a way to make some interesting television and some entertaining television. Whether it was on purpose or, or whether it's accidental, Vince McMahon has found a way to entertain us. So I'm not going to sit up there and say these, these past 10 years have been just terrible from vince or even further than that no there have been some enjoyable things i always remember and there will be there have been some things that i'm not a big fan of but i can always give respect to at least the good things that vince has done for the wwe and what he's done behind the scenes to help help the company you know what i'm saying so i can at least talk about that and give respect to that aspect but outside of that i've always said until vince mcmahon retires it will be the same. This the company is more or less going to be the same. And the same CM Punk has said the same thing. CM Punk has said the exact same thing. Until Vince McMahon retires, it's going to be the same thing. Well, he kind of said it a little more brutally until he dies or retires. <laughs> It'll be the same thing. And and I, I wasn't one of those people that wanted Vince Vince McMahon to die. Like I'm not that that you know what I'm saying. And like cold hearted you know but i definitely wanted him to step down from the creative side of things and now we finally got our 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 prayers answered he has finally stepped down from creative and just wwe as a whole so we will see what happens going forward so my question to you guys in the comment section are you guys excited about what's to come next in wwe did this news of vince mcmahon retiring from WWE completely, did this bring some excitement to you when it comes to watching the WWE product? Will this have you intrigued to see what they do going forward? Or are you one of the people that are kind of disappointed that Vince retired and you kind of like the way things were happening in WWE? Or are you a part of that camp that's like indecisive, not sure yet? You know, you, you don't really care if he retired. You didn't care if he stayed. You were just like don't even really watch WWE like that 
Like, let me know. Like, what what's going on in your minds right now? Let me know. Is this going to be something for those who don't watch WWE anymore? Is this going to be something that now you're going to start checking out the shows now that Vince is not there? Let me know down below, man. Let's start this conversation because I know I'm going to see some wild comments in this one. So, but I appreciate all the love support, man. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.